Hey, we're shaking homies. So today I got some Taco Bell tortilla chips. So these are really cool. These are supposed to be like their mild sauce and uh, this is supposed to be like their fire sauce. As far as I know, these are the only two they have out. They haven't came out with, you know, their Diablo ones or um, what's their medium one, the hot one or whatever. Um, they just got these two. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a little closer look at the packaging. We'll see what uh, all the ingredients are and everything. Take a closer look at the chips themselves. Uh, then I can try them out. But um, actually, pretty excited about these. Okay guys, so here they are. I love how they both look like the sauce packets. So what should we check out first? Uh, I guess we'll check out the mild. Um, I love how it has the you made my day, you know, it says like, just as this one, they say something on them, like how the sauce packages always say something goofy on it. Um, Taco Bell right down there, it's a 3.5 ounce bag or a 99 gram. And uh, yeah, so here is the, uh, back here first, let's take a look. Um, so uh, quite a few carbs, 16 carbs. Um, servings per container three, so if you eat the whole thing, that's a lot of carbs, that's like 48 carbs. But uh, you get six grams of protein if you eat the whole thing. But um, yeah, no, not too bad on fat considering um, what they are. And 24 grams for the whole bag. Um, but yeah, so here is all the crazy ingredients. We got um, whole grain corn, masa flour, sunflower, safflower, and or canola oil, seasoning spices, tomato power, uh, Autolyzed yeast extract, sugar, salt, garlic powder, maltodextrin, onion powder, citric acid, jalapeno pepper powder, dioxide, inosinfate, I don't know what that is, that's like the only thing out here, I really don't know what it is. And I'll say, same as uh, disodium guanlite, I don't know what that is either. Uh, extracts of paprika and color, product of Mexico, that's kind of cool. Hencho and Mexico. <laughs> okay, so here we got. Uh, this on here, it's probably hard for you guys to see with the glare from the studio lights, but I'll try to read my best. Introducing Taco Bell's new mild tortilla chips. I'm not the type to brag, but I'm perfectly seasoned with a lot of little kick and a lot of flavor. That makes the best crispy, crunchy bite. I'm great for parties, on lunch dates, or when you're craving a midnight snack. Hence the whole uh, fourth meal thing. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So, looks like here, um, Check it out, our stats are pretty much the same as far as here. We got pretty much all the same ingredients for the most part. Um, we got beet juice, that's one of the color things, that's kind of cool, but I'd rather have them use that than use artificials. So let's uh, check it out what this one says. It says, introducing Taco Bell's new fire tortilla chips. If you're not afraid to be bold, then I'm the one for you. I'm crispy, crunchy, and full of fiery flavor. That'll rock your world. Simply put, I'm fire. Dare to dance with me. Um, yeah, same size bag and everything. So let's uh, take a closer look at the chips. See what the chips look like themselves. Okay, so. Okay, so let's take a couple out. Okay, so they are a thinner chip than something like a Doritos. They're also smaller than something like a Doritos. They have an extreme amount of this. You can just see the, how much salt it is on there, but there's a lot of other seasonings as well. But you can really see the salt crystals, so I'm uh, telling you right now, these are probably going to have quite the salty flavor to them. Now I'll wait to try those out. So take a closer look at these fire. Oh, they smell very cumin-y. Smell, smell very much like cumin. Okay, and the fire ones. I'm also not, ex whoa, these ones are red as hell. Holy crap. Like, look at these. These are just like, pull me over red. Holy crap. Okay, and these also too have a lot of seasoning on them, but it, it's different. They both use the same type of really thin chip. Um, smaller, if you were to compare it to something like a Dorito. But uh, a couple side by side, so you can see, you know, up close kind of the differences in how they look. And uh, actually, yeah, they both look really good. They seem extremely crunchy. Like they're gonna be uh, quite crunchy. So yeah, um, yeah, let me throw these back in the bag and I'm not sharing with these with anybody so I don't care about if they're a little dirty, whatever. I'm not a germaphobe. Okay, so let's adjust the camera so you guys can uh, see my reaction and uh, we'll, we'll try these out. But uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited about these. Okay guys, so shout out to LA Beast. I got some Crystal Pepsi here. Go so, cleanse my palate in between. All right, so here we go. We'll try the mild first. Uh, 
big crunch factor. Extremely crunchy. It does taste mostly like cumin. Cumin and salt. But but in a good way. Like it, it, it does they are really good. I love how they got so much seasoning on them. You know, like when you have Doritos, and there'll be some of them in there that have like tons of seasoning on them. That's how like every chip is in here, so I kind of like this. Yeah, and they taste lighter than something like a Dorito. Um, they are definitely a little skinnier, a little crunchier. And I could see accidentally eating this whole bag, like meaning you just have a couple, and eating the whole bag. These are delicious. Not hot at all. Like, zero on the heat scale. I also eat like crazy stuff though, so don't listen to me on that. But maybe a one uh, piece go. Alright, those are good. Yeah, get those away from me. I think those would be awesome to make nachos with or something. Those that you give them a little more spice, a little kick. Okay, palate's cleansed. Let's try these babies out. These ones, I don't know because there's so much stuff in them, but they seem like thicker, like. They're also very crunchy, but they're harder to chew. Um, these ones actually seem like the seasoning is more like baked into it, where the other one was like, had like more like a powdery seasoning that would kind of like fall off. These aren't as like, a, like it's like soaked into there. I don't know if the hot sauce they put on there. But, to me, these aren't hot either. I can see with somebody that doesn't eat a lot of spicy food, you might have trouble with these. But, like, these mild ones are like nothing. Like, I could give a little piece of this to my dog, and he'd be fine. You know what, though? I normally love hot stuff. I do. I mean, these aren't really that hot. I actually like the flavor of the mild ones better. I was kind of hoping these would taste like the mild ones, just hotter, but they kind of got their own thing going on. It is kind of like, the seasoning is more like stuck to it, I don't know how to explain it. Like, yeah, I don't know, it's like the hot sauce they put on there, like kind of like baked onto it. No, get me wrong, they're good. I just like those ones better. I still like these, these are good. Um, yeah, if I was hungry, I could eat both these without even thinking about it. With a couple beers, this would like. I'm feeling after more a couple beers, I would really, really like these ones. But yeah, I think they have a little different crunch. In them. They're both crunchy, but this one's a little more. You got to take, uh, chew it a little more. These feel more airy and light. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. But I'm actually surprised. I like both these. I think you can't go wrong. And, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, really actually impressed with both these. Oh, uh, any other stupid things you guys want to see me taste test, let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah. And then I can do something different than playing with the yo-yo every day. But if you want to see yo-yo videos, click here. No, just kidding. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to try not to eat the rest of these, but I probably will. So, I'll see you later.